There is a clear anxiety that both Parliament and television are sliding into irrelevance, disappearing into the mists of history like the quill pen and the coffee house. The web, we're told, makes expensive professional broadcasting a thing of the past, but the problem with blogs is the same as their strength. They don't operate by conventional journalistic rules about checking facts, and they're unencumbered by any thought that there might be more than one side to a story. The blogosphere is a place where everyone can scream and no one needs to listen. Rather than making an attempt at fairness irrelevant, it seems to me it actually makes it more necessary. The more profound problem is about demographics. The audience is getting older and we don't know what to do about it. So we have the spectacle of a bunch of middle-aged people in the grip of some comb-over compulsion. Youth, where is it? Why doesn't it watch us? How do we get hold of it? This is the great motive force in contemporary television. Why do they want to find youth? Well, the motive's the same everywhere. It's money. Commercial television, because it's the market the advertisers crave. The BBC, because it fears that if it doesn't get its nails into this particular age group, it's going to succumb to Daily Express syndrome, where the paperboy shoves the newspaper through the letterboxes of houses with the curtains drawn. It is, I might say in parentheses, tempting to shout, stop it. The truth is that television in Britain is commissioned by middle-aged people who rarely watch the box, attempting to reach young people who look at it even less, when it's actually watched by old people. <laughs> 20 to 25-year-olds... 20 to 25-year-olds aren't sitting goggle-eyed for one very good reason. They've got better things to do. The people who do watch it and pay their license fees and their other bills are older people. Why don't we just give them what they want? The anxiety about irrelevance expresses itself in obsessions with the red button, interactivity, fatuous opinion polls, podcasts, multi-platform, 360-degree programming, etc., etc. We've all heard the jargon, even if we're not entirely clear what it means. Um, in the process, something has gone wrong. We've got too interested in the way we deliver what we do at the expense of what we deliver. We have become obsessed with how the copper wire is organized and we've forgotten about the electricity.